In this video, I'm going to show you how to type in a circle in Photoshop. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mary. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to type in a circle in Photoshop. So let's get started. So I have Photoshop open here. I will go ahead and click create new. Then I'll just choose a custom size of 1280 by 1280 pixels and I'll click create. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a guide for my circle. I'll go up to view and make sure my snap is active and under my snap tool my guides is also active. Then I'll click new guide. And for the vertical, I'm going to type 50%. Oh, no. Click OK. I'll go and repeat the same for the horizontal. And for the horizontal, I'll also click 50%. So now I have the guide here, which makes me know the center of the background here. So the next thing I'll do now is create the circle where I'm going to type my text on. So I'll go to my shape tool here where I have the rectangle tool. I'll right click on it then to bring out all the tools. Then I'll click the ellipse tool so I'll be able to create a circle shape. So now I'll go to the center of the background here then I'll click and drag. But as you see, I'm not having a good circle. So I'll click and hold my Shift and Option key together or Shift and Alt key on my keyboard. Then this is going to give me a symmetrical circle from the center of the page. So I'll just drag it and to any size that I like and just release the mouse. So I have my circle. The next thing I'll do is create the text around the circle. I'll go ahead and click on my text tool. I'll, I click T on my keyboard. And as you see, this tool icon here has a dotted square around it. But if I bring it on the circle, you will see a, like a wavy dotted uh, line around it. If I bring it inward, it's going to change to circle Okay, so but we want to write on the circle, right? So I'll click when it shows the wavy line. I'll click on the circle. So I click on the circle. Now I'll be able to type on the circle. But my text size is looking too big. So for me to reduce it, I'll click three times. Triple click on this letter here one two three then i'll be able to change it so i'll go up here and reduce the size i'll reduce the font size i'll click and drag it down or i go to my properties menu here or properties tab and reduce the size from here as well okay and this is typing in small letters right I want to make it capital letter okay so I'll triple or double click again and then I'll go back to my properties tab and scroll up and where I see this cap this capital double T I'll click on it and now as you can see it has changed it to a capital letter for me so I'll just click on it and so another thing I can do to adjust my text is double click on the text layer here okay then it's going to alight the text for me then I can go ahead and reduce the size I can as well change the color so I can choose red so let's choose red I can choose whatever color that I like So we can use blue, this looks good. So I'll just click OK. 
and there we have it blue so if I want to increase it once more I'll just go ahead and increase it so I think this looks okay so now I want to write in what I want I'll go ahead and type in write in circle okay so in case I want to move the text I want to change where it's positioned I'll go ahead and click on my path selection tool I'll click on it then as you can see the icon here there's a little arrow in the front so I can click and then if I drag it the text is going to move with it okay so I can decide to turn it around okay so for me to be able to move my text around the circle or place it in the center I'll go ahead and click on path selection tool I'll click on it and bring it onto my text so as you see here yeah, there is a arrow here yeah, that is pointing to the right and that is indicating where and how the text is going and where my start point is and as you see if I put it down a bit it's pointing to the opposite side and that means that is where my end point is but I want to adjust that I want to make this place here my end point so I'll go ahead and click on the circle and as you see when I click on the circle I have like a small circle there that I can move around the circle there shows me the end point of where I can type to and there you see the X here shows where my start point is. I don't know if you get that. The circle here is the end point, the X on top of it where the W is is my start point. So I'm going to move this circle which is my end point, I'm going to move it here. So this is where my end point is okay and then my start point I want to move it down to this place so now that is where my start point is and this is where my end point is as well you see now when I move it here is the black arrow is pointing to the left and here the black arrow is pointing to the right so now I want my text to be in the middle because now it's starting is aligned to the left I want it to be aligned to the middle so I'll go ahead and double click on my text layer here and then I'll change the alignment to center so now my text is aligned to the middle of the page or the middle of the circle okay so I'll click on the down to or enter or return on my keyboard so what I want to do next is I want to make another text underneath here. I'll duplicate my text layer. Click on Command or Control J on my keyboard to duplicate that. Then I will hide the initial one. Then this second one I would move it downwards. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pick my path selection tool again then I will drag this text inside okay so I'll go ahead and click on the circle as you see I have my X and I have my O which is the start and end point so I'll just move it inwards inwards the circle and as you see my text is in the circle if I move it inside my text is inside so I'll just drag it here then I'll go back and get my start point here which is the X and then I'll move it down here go back and move my end points and move it down here but we want the text outside just like this one right so what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and select my character tab 
and then in the character type you see a capital A with on that's underlined a small a underlined and an arrow underneath then I'll go ahead and just drag it to the left okay and as you see as I'm dragging it the text is moving outside the circle so I'll just leave it around um, let's say 12 and click enter so I'll go back and click my ellipse yeah and the text is not looking like the first so I'll go back and click on the text layer and then I'll just drag and reduce it to fit in with the other text and this looks good so now we've been able to create another text on the other side so if I want to change my text I'll go back and click my text tool then I can double click on the text layer here or I can triple click on the text itself yes I'll just click three times one two three to select everything for me then I can change my text to in Photoshop sorry in Photoshop I can as well change my font if I want to I'll triple click again and go up here and select any kind of font that I like Rockwell I think I like Rockwell fonts where is it I'll just choose it okay I can go ahead and do the same for this one I'll triple click it and go and change the font to Rockwell where is it I'll change this one as well to bold <laughs> so they look alike okay so we're able to write on a circle or in a circular shape in Photoshop okay so in case you want to write like in a wavy form you can do that as well we can just select our pen tool and select our curvature pen tool. I'll create a, a wavy line. And click escape. Then I'll go back to my text tool. Click on my text tool. So I'll be able to type on it. Then I'll see the wavy line when once I bring the text tool onto the wavy line. Then I'll click on it. And then I'll be able to type my text. So I'll type right in circle Photoshop. But we cannot see the other text because of our start point, which is X, is here, and our end point, which is O. Shape is here, and our midpoint is here. So I'll go back to my path tool, path selection tool. And I'll bring it over here and then I'll drag my end point which is the circle I'll drag my end points here and I should be able to see the other text that I wrote so as you see the right in circle is underneath the line and that is because of our previous settings which we did for the in Photoshop that we made the in Photoshop outside of the circle that's why this is like this so to adjust that and make sure the text is on top of the line just go uh, and type in zero there and click enter and then we'll see that the text is on top of the line but when we see here uh, the text doesn't look good the spacing is not looking nice so what we'll do is we'll go back to our text tool and select our text tool and then we'll click and we can reduce the space 
then we'll hold our alt or option key and click on the arrow left or right depending on where you want to adjust so yeah i want to bring the r to the w i'll click on my left arrow as you see the space is closing together then i want to put some space between the t and the e here i'll hold my auto option key and click on my right arrow and as you see the space is getting bigger i'll go back and put it between the i and n hold my auto option and then i'll just click my right arrow key to put in space and we just do that until you're satisfied and that is it we've been able to type in a circle and we've been also able to type in a wavy line in photoshop and i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you do please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos thank you so much do have a good day see you on my next video bye for now